Hey everybody, what's going on? As always, appreciate everybody taking the time to watch this. It means the world. We um, want to see if I made a smart decision buying some coins off eBay. So we're going to get into this. We'll open it up. It's tough when you're buying coins on eBay. Here's something that I see all the time. I see people bidding on coins that are cleaned, whizzed, dipped, you know, a bunch of different techniques. But you can tell they're clean coins and people are actually bidding on them like they're uncirculated. So, you know, you... It's tough buying coins on eBay to begin with or really anywhere online just due to the fact that you can't hold it in your hand. And a lot of the images, hey, you can Photoshop a coin super, super easily. I end up picking up what is supposed to be uncirculated Kennedy's for a good price. For this particular set, I figured I could double my money. And you can do all the research you want. Doesn't mean that they're going to be as is. Now these were supposed to be BU. Looks pretty good. We'll see, we'll see. But back to buying coins on eBay, you take a risk. Anytime you buy coins online, you take a risk because even with the pictures, they can be Photoshopped. So you really have to learn, if you don't want to get you know, taken to the cleaners, you have to learn how to look for clean coins. Um, and and you know you just gotta educate yourself, and, and you'll get that with experience. I've been dealing with coins a lot. And when I first started, I got I got beat up a lot because I, I didn't know what was going on. So, and when you don't know what's going on. And you have no way to look at certain things or know if a coin is clean. You can spend a lot of money on different things and overpay big time. And I don't want anybody to do that. And it's just funny that I see, it's not funny, it's sad. But it's just how gullible some people are. Some people get on here and they mean well, but they just don't they just don't get it. And they end up with I guess what gets me upset is the eBay sellers continuously do it and people give them five stars all the time. So it's not like you can look at somebody's um you know, you can't look at an eBay seller's ratings and, and judge it that way because people people buy clean coins and then they go back and give them five stars because they don't know better. And I should never say that's funny. And, and I don't mean that it's funny. It's just I see it every time and I'm just like, man, how in the world can they get away with that? And the only way to protect yourself is to educate yourself. That is the only way. Let's see, here's the luster. So none of these have been clean. At least not this one. I first viewed it. Which was what I was wanting to see. They're an MS, but... These look like lower 
Universe. This looks like it's fucking two. Anyways. But to my point, you, you, you have to educate yourself. Now, I was hoping to turn these and double my money. I only pay 135 bucks for them. Anyways, it just gets me upset because, you know, when you first get started, this is an awesome community to begin with, the coin community, you know, on YouTube and the coin community in general, a lot of great people, a lot of people that, that love this, that have a passion for it, and, you know, they're taking the time to go on YouTube and make these videos and try to educate people and try to help people, you know, authentically. Uh, and I love that. And then they've, even at a time or two, they have called out these eBay sellers. And again, people just keep leaving five star reviews. You'll have a few, but like other YouTubers, the Queen community have said that when you dispute something, you know, they're going to have the opportunity to make it right. And the negative feedback turns into positive. So you just have to be extremely careful when you are buying coins on eBay. And it's always going to be a risk unless you know that seller and know that they're off in it. You know, you have to be careful because even when it's 100%, or 99% or 98%, you can still have people doing people wrong by selling coins that are, again, certain, you know, damaged, whizzed, cleaned. So that's the biggest thing. Learn about coins, understand them, learn about values and, you know, special mints and different things like that. But. Ultimately, you know, get involved with the community and learn, learn how to tell if a coin has been clean or whizzed. For things like that. Sorry, I was just focusing on the coin. These are 1964 silver, 90% uh, Kennedy's, nothing special. Literally, there is a 64 and a 64D. Hundreds of millions. I think the Philadelphia has over 230 million, and, and the Diver has over 130 million. So, nothing special, but it is the only 1964 Kennedy. Or Kennedy in general, that is 90% silver. So, just more or less talking about eBay. But, anyways, that's it. I don't know if I'll be able to double my money on these. They're pretty, though. I love the 64s. I love silver coins in general, anyway. But, I'm going to jump off here in nine minutes. So, again, thanks for taking the time to be here. If you like videos like this, be sure to like, subscribe. We'll try to start doing a lot more of these videos as I'm trying to find a lot more time. But always appreciate you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.